from the rising of the sun to its setting. My name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Good afternoon and welcome to this noonday prayer. My name is Markus Dunskofer and I am the rector of St. John's Episcopal Church on Princess Street in Edinburgh. The bells you heard at the beginning are the bells of the Lutheran Parish Church in my hometown of Beringersdorf in Germany. They ring out every 12 noon every day to call people to prayer and to remind us that we are all in the hands of the Creator. So let us pray with the words of the appointed psalm, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Almighty God, your Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us pure hearts and constant wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah. Return, O faithless children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, says the Lord, they shall no longer say, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed, nor shall another one be made. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem. And they shall no longer stubbornly follow their own evil will. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. A reading from Matthew. Jesus explained, Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person 
has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the world, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us proclaim God's self-revelation in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. This is a true saying and worthy by all to be received. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. We have not given God the honour due God's name. We have not loved God with all our heart and mind and soul and strength. We have rejected God's will for our lives. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. We have defiled God's image in each other and in ourselves. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We have been silent in the face of evil and have obstructed the building up of God's kingdom of justice and peace. Christe eleison. Christ have mercy. We have not heeded God's call to be stewards of God's good creation. We have rejected our responsibility for this planet Earth, our island home. We have violated life in all its forms. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. May God, our true Father and our true Mother, forgive us our sins and welcome us home once more. May Christ Jesus, our Lord and God, through his death and resurrection, break the bonds of evil and death, and pierce the darkness of our lives. May God the Holy Spirit set us free to worship God without fear, heal what harms us in body, mind and soul, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and teach her counsellors wisdom. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Give your people the blessing of peace, and may all the earth be filled with your glory. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. And now invite your own prayers and intercessions and praises and thanksgivings in the silence of your hearts. Pray for the world. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the church. Pray for those who suffer in body, mind or soul. Pray for those we love and those who love us back. Pray for those who wish us harm. Pray for life on this planet. Pray for those people in your heart and those situations on your mind. Pray for a deeper knowledge of God. Pray for those who have died. Pray for yourself. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>